Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 10 box Chase the Luca basketball mixer. Random team break. And we're giving away, that's the Luca we're giving away. We're, there's no picture of that. I'll, I'll, I'll pull it from the case after I do the randomizer, but it's going to look kind of like that. It's pretty nice. It's pretty darn nice. I think it actually is that. Here are the boxes right here. No veteran common ship. So there you have it. All right. So big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Those are the people who bought their spot straight up. And there was a, we only had to do one cello pack for this break right here. So congrats to the winners there. There are the teams. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a four, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and five. One and a four, five times. After five, we got Steven down to Adam. One and a four, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. Fifth and final time, Timberwolves down to the Atlanta Hawks. Good luck. And trade at your own risk. I'll give you a couple moments to trade as well. Stephen Schwartz with the Timberwolves. Stephen Kelly with the Mavs. Tony with the spots that you won. Grizzlies and Bucks. Pano with my Lakers. Asa with the Cavs. Paul Nixon with the Nets. Jeffrey with the Warriors. Asa with the Heat. Adam with the Jazz. Jesse with the Kings. Paul Nixon with the Nuggets. Bulldog fan with the Hornets. Scott E with the Celtics. Scott G with the Pacers. Patrick K with the Thunder. Diane S with the Pelicans. Nice. Patrick K, last spot mojo star next year named Bulls. Paul Nixon with the New York Knicks, Chad with the Rockets, Jazz with the Pistons, Omar with the Suns, Richard Miller with the uh, Clippers, Aaron with the Spurs, uh, Shafin with the Raptors, Danny with the Trailblazers, Joe with the Sixers, Tyler with the Magic, James Manis with the Wizards, Adam Kelly with the Hawks. There you go. Let's alphabetize by your first, uh, by the first names of the teams, the city names, not your first names. And there you go. I'm going to pause the video really quick. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And, uh, and I'm going to bring that Luka Doncic over so we can show that off too. And uh, remember, trade at your own risk. Keep, keep the different boxes in mind, the different years in mind. All right, so I'm going to pause and stick around. We'll be right back. And we're back. There was a lot of trade chatter, ladies and gentlemen, but in the end, no deals were done. Are we all watching Empire Strikes Back together? Yeah, it's on TNT. I've got it. All right, there it is. Ten box Chase the Luca basketball mixer on a Saturday. Thanks for hanging out with us, folks. Thanks for joining us on a Saturday. Really appreciate it. There's everyone right here. There's the Luca we're giving away. So at the very end of the break, we're going to randomize all the names, and the name on top is going to get this Gem Mint 10 Luca Doncic. Which would be pretty nice, considering the grading services are all on hiatus. Or I had to hit the pause button, unfortunately. But fortunately, we had a graded Luca sitting around here, and we're like, "Well, oh, put it in a break. We'll, we'll send it to somebody." All right, where should we start? I kind of want to get this out of the way. Let's get, let's do that, and then we'll then we'll move into a little bit of that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then 10 right back there. Those are your 10 boxes. Settle in, folks. It's going to take a minute or two, but settle in. And we'll get this done. And good luck to all. No, Luke, don't leave. for here. I don't think these are too common, but I guess that's kind of what we're looking for. Oh, these are actually much easier to open than the prism hang packs.
Oh no, he says that when he's dying. Oh, spoiler alert, Yoda dies. Oh man, is this is this COVID silliness? Is that gonna push back Mandalorian season two? I just realized that it's gonna push all those shows back. I know Disney announced they were pushing back all kinds of movies. I realized that those TV shows are probably gonna be moved pushed back too. How rude. All right. Pack number one. A lot of these aren't really going to have too much craziness. I guess we'll save one of those. I know those LeBron in his Laker jerseys have been doing decently on a secondary market. That'll go to the Lakers. That'll be for Pano. Trouble with your droid. Malcolm Brogdon, green foil looks a little different. Uh, it'll ship. It's an insert. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I... I how many? I, I need to watch the rest of those Clone Wars episodes, Mothro. I know that uh, I've intentionally skipped a couple weeks of watching it so I can just kind of watch some of those animated series back to back to back. Folks, if you're Star Wars fans, that Clone Wars animated series is... Uh, Is not too shabby at all if you want to dive into that part of the Star Wars universe. Oh my god, he betrayed you. Pull one of those autos. Where? Let's get an auto out of here, huh? Looks like nothing. Nothing in that contenders. Fat box. Alright, well, surely there must be something in uh, in this old box right here. 1415. Panini Donner's basketball. Good luck. for in here a lot of inserts a lot of parallels a lot of stuff's going to ship from here for rated rookie signatures from 1415 
So we go back to 14, 15. I should have had these draft classes up. This is the, oh, this is the Wiggins, Embiid, Jabari Parker, Julius Randle, so on and so forth here. Tony, what's up? Oh, it's all good. But hello, thanks for checking in. Hopefully all's well. When's Jake Fromm getting that State Farm money? I hope he goes in the first round. So State Farm will want to give him that State Farm money. All right, next box. Going back in time to 1415. Good luck. And Eric Green is your first auto out of here. Out of 249, that goes to the Nuggets. That'll be for Paul Nixon. There's Markel Brown, rated rookie. And for some of those serial numbered cards, when we find one, uh, I'm just going to set those aside, and our shipping team will sleeve and top load those before they get shipped out, before they're sorted even. And we just want to try to breeze through this break somewhat quickly. I will try to, I will try to remember to do a uh, autograph and relic recap at the end. So if you're re-watching re this video and you're like, man, I don't want to sit through all this. <laughs> It's not as fun if I'm not watching live. Then you can fast forward to the very end and uh, and check out the re. Hopefully, I did one. Otherwise, you can be like, "Yo, you didn't do one." And come into the chat, the live stream next time I'm live, and you can yell at me. Press proof. That's to 99. Ooh, nice. That sounds like fun. So. You got some XR football from the store for your nephew and opened it together and pulled out a three color patch auto, Kyler Murray. Well now 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 the nephew is hooked, I'm sure. Is he uh, is the nephew old enough to be aware of who Kyler Murray is? I would imagine yes. Oh, he's 15. All right, I got you. I got you. So he knows. You're a, you're a, you're a cool aunt, Tony. There's Rudy Tomjanovich. Player Rudy Tomjanovich. Rudy T, 10 out of 74. Die cut autograph. Rockets. I'll actually top load this because it's a die cut. It's a little more fragile. This uh, goes to Chad with the Rockets. Oh, 
my uh, my aunt Tony back in the day got me an upper deck baseball set when I was a wee lad. My aunt Monica, it was pretty cool. She went, she went to, she went to, she's the one that went to uh, OU, Oklahoma University. Oh God, do, do I still have that upper deck set? I don't, I don't think I do. I, for, I forget what year it was. But I definitely ripped it open. Definitely played with all the cards. Definitely sorted them by team. Definitely resorted them a zillion times. Probably bent a lot of corners. I don't know if there's anything super valuable in there. I don't remember what year it was, but. This is a good time of a uh, good time of year, ladies and gentlemen. In these in these weird times, where we're all stuck indoors and trying to figure out what to do and trying to still socially connect in an era of social distancing. Uh, that's Jimmy Butler for the Bulls. That'll be for Patrick. Um, introduce a friend or family member to the hobby. You know, buy buy some baseball cards and rip some open, or join a group break on Jaspies. You know, and then and then. Uh, you guys can hang out in the chat too, you know, so it's a way to socially connect in a different way and do something, you know, like to do an activity together, basically. Just to keep yourself from going stir crazy, but yeah, in introduce him to this to the silly group breaking thing that you do. Uh, this is 17-18 basketball, so that guy's rookie year. Markel, Fultz, Lonzo, so on and so forth. I'm not sure what I'm gonna end with. I think I'm gonna end with that Prism Retail, that purple box in the back with Zion on it. Maybe Court Kings will be a couple of the last two boxes that we do. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I think Disney needs to build a uh, a Star Wars resort and casino. I don't think they'll ever do a casino just because they're Disney, but I think they should do a Star Wars resort and casino in Las Vegas, and I think people will go there. If the whole thing is Star Wars themed, right? So remember that there is um, Last Jedi. It was kind of terrible, but it had that casino sequence right so they, they can kind of base it off of that you know different rooms could be themed like you're on Endor or you're the forest moon of Endor that is or in you know maybe more sparse room would be like on Tatooine I don't know they could figure it out they're smart there's Jared Allen I like him rated rookie autograph for the Nets that'll be for the coach Paul Nixon LeBron James, lime green to 175. I think people would flock there. Justice Winslow to 175. I think I would go there. <laughs> Maybe others won't. I don't know. What if you could sleep in an X-Wing? You have the Millennium Falcon suite. Wouldn't you want to stay there? In all the room. I mean, it'd be like a regular hotel room, but you know the walls would look like the Millennium Falcon and... And whatnot. Do we think we'll have uh, XR for case breaks? We might. There's a good chance we might. I'll let Nick know that there's some interest in, in some XR football for group breaks. 
I think with a lot of, uh, I think with a lot of the, the sort of later, uh, some new releases being delayed because of all the COVID stuff, with offices closing all over the place, I think, um, I think we may have to dip into some of the older, oldies but goodies. And XR we've done a lot of, so there's Bam out of Bio, Heat, Asa, Miami. That's a nice one, rated rookie, Bam out of Bio. All right. This is getting serious. I'm taking off the watch. This is getting serious, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what should I do next? What, this is right in front of me. There's Kevin Durant's mug on the front right there. What is? What year is this? What is this? This is 12... This is 1213 Panini Hoops Blaster. And I think this was the this was the double year where I think Kyrie might be a rookie in this. Kemba, Clay, Kawhi, plus the twenty twelve class. Davis, Bradley Beal, Damian Lillard, I think. I don't know. We'll pop it open. We'll send it. I wonder, Arthur. I mean, It could, it could even go down, too. I think it'll just really just depend on on what people want. This is really a thing? Dribble to the beat of hot tracks and build ball handling skills and unlock Panini NBA trading cards. Anyone do this? You don't have to be embarrassed. You can let me know. <laughs> They're really pushing that, huh? I don't think Arthur's in this in this break, Rex. Like nothing significant out of here. All righty, where where else should we go? We got some 1920. What year is this? So I'm gonna save the court kings. Let's go to 1617. Then we'll go to 18, 19, and then we'll work through some 1920s. So 16 would be the Simmons rookie year. Simmons draft. Yeah, Ben Simmons, Brandon Ingram, Buddy Heald, Jakob Pertl, Thon Maker, Sabonis, Demas Sabonis, Pascal Siakam, so on and so forth.
Ooh. Sixers. Joe Andreessen, who won the spot in a cello pack break, gets a rookie Ben Simmons. Remember, um, his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck. So consequently, just his regular old rookie cards carried a lot of value that year. And I still, I, and I think they still do. I mean, this might even be worth grading as well, Joe. I remember like the base cards out of like NT um, would go for an insane amount of money on the secondary market. It was wild. There's the Junta Murray. Chris Paul. Man, we got Jalen Rose Pacers autograph. Nice. I have an interesting design here. I don't know which way to do it. This way and this way. Scott Goodman with the Indiana Pacers. All right, let's go 2018-19, featuring uh, that guy. I've heard of him. He's pretty good. A PSA 10 of Simmons sold for 150 today. That seems a little low. Possibly because of the current situation. So I want to say like raw it would go for like 100, but maybe in a more favorable market, I feel like that would go a lot more. It's a good deal, I feel like. Hmm. Jersey Mike's free delivery through DoorDash? Eighteen, nineteen. Luka Doncic, Trey Young, etc. Good luck. Is that numbered? Fantasy stars? No. It will ship though. Dennis Smith Jr. Hollow. Will Barton. Non numbered parallel that'll ship. DiVincenzo. Lock it up, Jimmy Butler. Devontae Graham. Mo Wagner. Julius Randle, Pelicans edition, Oladipo Hollow. When recently, Arthur? That is, I mean, yeah, that it's the it's the family curse. The Kennedy family. Anuobi, Wendell Carter, Dame Hollow, Rajon Rondo. And, oh, is that the hit behind Colin Sexton is Billy Preston. Cavs. Wasn't Billy Preston the keyboard player that played with the Beatles? 
later on in their Beatles career? It's Billy Preston, right? Giannis to 85. All right, let's see. Let's move into maybe this. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. This is the, we've got a few boxes of the current year. Should we close? I think we're going to close with that. We're going to close with a Zion Prism. Silver is what I'm hoping for. That would make, uh, that would make Diane S. very happy. So we're going to do this 1920 box right here. We'll do hoops. We'll do 16, 17, Court Kings, some old Court Kings, and then we'll end with that Prism Basketball. Why is that alien so in love with the Butterfinger? gold peeking down there all right good luck ladies and gentlemen let's keep it going zion or jaw jaw or zion those are our main our main search there's lonnie walker that demboya will ship he's was having a nice season Gallinari to 99. And Terrence Ross, Jersey Series, two color patch, Orlando Magic for Tyler. Zion. There he is. Goes to Diane S. and the Pelicans. <laughs> Topler was not worthy of Zion Williamson. There you go. No, no plastic dust caught inside there. There you have it. All right, now, now a jaw, Morant. In the same box? Let's do it. Let's find one of those, too. The 
There he is right there. And the John Morant rookie card. All of these, these could add up really nicely too if we've got to get some more of these. Uh, Tony Barkey, who won this mixer spot. With that John Morant. Derek's wondering if anybody's high on uh, Porter Jr. in this particular class. I think Kevin Porter Jr.? I know people like the Michael Porter Jr. People seem to, even when he was out the entire last season, people were still buying buying up the, the Nuggets, I think it is. And his... His stuff were still going strong on a secondary mark. And that first week he came back and just had a really excellent debut. You know, was another big boost in his value too. Kevin Porter Jr., I'm not too familiar with. Cavs, I think, for the Kevin Porter Jr. That R.J. Barrett will go to the Knicks, Paul Nixon. And there's Yusuf Nurkic. 17 out of 25 goes to the Trailblazers. That's going to go to Danny Connell. Top of that RJ Barrett, too. And Kawhi at the back there. Um, all right, let's get this guy going. Autographs per box on average. Uh, where were you when you first learned that that uh, Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father? Anyone have a clear memory of that moment? I don't. But I guess if ever if there are people that were that were watching these releases in real time, they may have remembered that moment in the theater when they were like, "What?" <laughs> oh, sorry, Danny. Um, <clears throat> spoiler alert, everybody. Uh, press, press the mute button on your browser or your, uh, mobile device for the next 10 seconds. Luke Skywalker, his father, Darth Vader. I just don't, I, I feel like by the time I, I... I just feel like Star Wars was always something that my parents was always on TV. It's something that we would always watch. And it, I don't know if there was that aha moment for me. I don't remember it. Because I just think it was, I think all, for a long time until I was like older, like in junior high, high school, I, I didn't really watch these separately. They were all just kind of a blur, a childhood blur of like watching the TV stuff. And so I think somehow, I think it was already known that it was I, it was his father or something like that. Matt Stoss says, homesick from school at age five or six. <laughs> Darth Vader, we're, we're going through, we're going through uh, Star Wars parentage. Here, there's Marvin Bagley. Yeah. 
Has everyone seen the the latest movie? Everyone knows what happened there, right? I feel like at this point you you should know by now. There goes his hand. We got Legends of the Ball, Walt Frazier. Yes, Stephen Kelly. <laughs> One. I think, I mean, I'll do a recap at the end. Maybe there's something else. But there's Hoops, Inc., Maxi Kleber. Going to Stephen Kelly and the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, you haven't seen the latest? Latest, uh, the latest one is not... I was not a huge fan of the of, of the Last Jedi. I think at first I thought it was okay, but upon subsequent viewings, you know, it just kind of got worse and worse. But Rise of Skywalker, the latest one, is pretty good. I think it's going to be on Disney Plus rather soon. I think they've kind of they kind of advanced that a bit earlier since everyone's stuck at home. Um, it might be on there already. Don't know, but. Here's R.J. Barrett and Zion. Paul Nixon with another R.J. Barrett rookie card. But yeah, the latest Rise of Skywalker, Danny and everybody, it's a little, it's a little fan servicey, but uh, it's a little fan servicey. But but it's good. It's okay. It's solid. You know, there's some parts where like, eh. <laughs> but I thought, I mean, I thought Force Awakens was, I know it was kind of a, kind of a copy of, you know, it mirrored A New Hope a lot, you know, but I thought it was like a nice reboot, you know what I mean? So I just really thought, there you go, there's John Moran too. I thought that was on a good pace. I wish they... I wish they had taken... Oh, these two, Stephen Kelly. I wish they had just taken the time. I feel like they kind of rushed through it, which is why J.J. Abrams was like, eh, I don't want to do the second one. And then was kind of forced to do the third one. So I just feel like... I just feel like uh, they just kind of rushed through it. And after a good promising start with The Force Awakens... They kind of dropped the ball after that, and there was just no consistent narrative thread, and then it just kind of messed up the whole thing. Cody Martin for the Charlotte Hornets. That goes to Will Comstock. But yeah, Matt Matt Stiles, right? the 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 original trilogy is still is still. I mean, I'm watching right now. Aside from some some dated effects, you know, it's they still hold up pretty well. I want to say, I. And of the new ones, I agree with you, Scott. I think uh, Rogue One, I think, still stands as... I still I still put Force Awakens up there, but I think Rogue One is quite good. Probably, I, I, I'm actually, I might put that just a little ahead of The Force Awakens, but Rogue One is pretty excellent. That feels like a... That feels more than... That feels like a... More than just like a Star Wars movie. I think it... I think it's a great I think it's a great movie just itself. I think the um I want to say I forget who the director was for for or director producers and slash or directors slash writers of it was or editors but I want to say I heard a story where they were like where they purposely watched a lot of like Vietnam war movies which I'm a big fan of. They watch a lot of Vietnam War movies to get ideas of like how to of how they wanted the movie to feel, like the grittiness of the movie and just the the sort of feel of the movie, which I think they did an excellent job on. Remember that one scene where Diego Luna, who's I think in the new Narcos, right, um, where Diego Luna is holding the holding the rifle in the rain. I mean, couldn't that be out of Platoon or out of? You know, full metal jacket or something like that, where they had the shot of him, like holding the gun. And it was a close-up shot, and it, like 
it pans down the barrel of the gun to his face. Like, like they, there was like some actually legitimately good movie shots in that in that one. So, I, I'm with you on that, Scott. I think it's great. Yeah, and the Vader scene at the end was great. It wasn't overdone. It was just like, boom, all of a sudden, holy crap, there he is. Oh, crap, he's like killing it. And it, it does seamlessly move into New Hope so well. I really like that sort of transition too. Yeah, that they did a good job on. Why couldn't the rest of them be like that? Would I be opposed to them remaking the originals? No, I wouldn't. Um, I don't want to be alive to see it, though. <laughs> Hopefully they do that, you know, long after I'm dead. I mean, do you, do you remake Casablanca? Do you, uh, Casablanca is not, not a new hope, but... I don't know, the cultural impact, I think, is, could, be, could be pretty similar. Do you redo Gone with the Wind? There's Buddy Healed. What level? Oh, that's just level one rookie. Chris Dunn. Dennis Schroeder. To 175. Dwayne Wade. Maestros. Yeah, they're, in the original Star Wars, Luke has had, had the crew watch a lot of World War II movies for the, uh, for the dogfights. There is Markeith Morris for the Wizards to 249. Goes to James. And we've got, what do we have here? We have Avica Zubac, fresh paint, on card autograph. One of the rare players that went from the Lakers across the hall to the Clippers. So this is Lakers edition going to Bono with the Avica Zubac. That always reminds me of the Pokemon Zubat. So I always, I always read the first three where it's like, that's a Zubat. No, it's a Zubach. For the Pokemon fans out there. And honestly, I don't think they really need to do another Star Wars movie for a long time. Unless it's... Unless they do like a, like a pre-prequel. Seattle Supersonics edition of Kevin Durant will go to Oklahoma City. That'll be for Patrick K. Alright, there you have it. And... Last box, boys and girls. Hopefully we can end with a Prism Zion, Prism Ja Morant, something like that. A silver, that is. It'd be pretty nice. True, yeah. I guess Casablanca Gone with the Wind weren't weren't special effects movies. Could update the special effects. Yeah, they could. But I don't know. I mean... I guess you could say that with a lot of sci-fi movies. Then would you redo Alien? Aliens? I feel like there's 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 a certain charm to that. Oh yeah, sorry, Dan. Spoiler alert. Danny's in Seattle. Hence the hence the pain. I think there, there, there's, there's something in the way that movies were produced in the 70s that also, like the pacing of the movie kind of gives it a, a vintage feel that I think would not be replicated in the new, uh, in like a remake of the original trilogy. Like, would you remake Godfather? You know, update, I mean, I, you might be able to redo Godfather, but not, I don't know, I guess, I guess movies in reality are... are <laughs> Are a little bit different because I think you can remake Godfather, but just in modern times. But there would be no way, no reason to redo Godfather in the 1940s and 50s again. It would just wouldn't make sense. 
See, Star Wars, you, I can't just do a, let's do a Star Wars, but I guess you could. What if you did Star Wars like as a, as a Western? No, maybe that wouldn't work. They're sword fighting. Uh, <laughs> Star Wars as like a Japanese samurai movie? I guess you can do it like that. Or a medieval, like a, like a medieval, European medieval times kind of, kind of movie with swords. That could work. It's an interesting question though. It's got me thinking. But, but remakes in general, I, I'm not a big fan of. I think there's really no need to, need to do it like that. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. There could be some monsters in here. So let's sit up straight in our chairs and let's see if we can get something, get something nice out of here. Come on, we've got to finish strong here. Let's go. No, Red Wave, nothing. Emergent Darius Garn, that's okay. PJ Washington, not silver. Demboya. No, Mick, no. You need to be an R.J. Barrett silver. Kobe! Mm. Jordan, bad to the bone. Silver, Darius, Darius Baisley, rookie silver. And that goes to OKC, Patrick K. Sorry, Patrick. We're trying to look for the, the big names, but that's a, that's a silver for you. We got Luke Walton. There you go. Penmanship autograph. Pano with the Lakers. Giannis. Okay. Seiko Nimboya. Not silver, though. John Collins, not a rookie though. Marvin Bagley, no. Maybe at the end? Come on, Joe, play to the whistle. What do we got? There's a Kobe White instant impact insert for the Bulls. Malcolm Brogdon Silver, but not a rookie. LeBron James and Yusef Nurkic. All right, so nothing monstrous there, ladies and gentlemen, but I appreciate everybody getting in. Here's a quick little recap, and then we'll give away that Luka Doncic. We had some... And some stuff. Jalen Rose, Ben Simmons was nice. The Bam out of bio, Jared Allen autograph, Rudy T, John Morant, LeBron James from Contenders. So there you go. All right, let's give that away. Now everyone has a shot at this, ladies and gentlemen. From Adam Kelly down to James Madness and everybody in between. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a one, five times, name on top, gets the Luka Doncic. After five, one, two, three, four, and good luck, everybody. Fifth and final time after five times. Drum roll, please. I don't have a drum roll effect. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and Diane, Diane S with a Luka Doncic after five. Wow. I don't think this is her first one either. This is 2018 Panini Prism, Rookie Luka, Silver, Gem Mint 10, graded for you already and heading out to you. Congrats to you, Diane. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for giving this a shot. This was the 10 box Chase the Luka basketball mixer on a Saturday. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.